Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and we just got the official release date for the long-awaited DLC Ruin for FNAF Security Breach. Quite frankly, I'm way too excited. Let's not waste any more time with this intro. If you're excited for Ruin, because we will be playing it on the channel, scroll down, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on that. And like I said, boom, this is the release date teaser for the Ruin DLC, which will be free, which is very exciting. And it's official release. Release date is July 25th. So about in a week and a half, we will have Ruin in our hands. It is releasing later on in the month, like a lot of people speculated, because Steel Wool was so quiet to announce the release date, right? We're like halfway through July and we're only just now getting it. But now that we know the release date, let's now take a look at this brand new teaser, which features the ruined versions of the Glamrock animatronics of Monty, Chica, Roxanne, and the daycare attendant in front of the destroyed lobby entrance of the Pizzaplex. We've seen this area quite a lot in the gameplay trailer. We also saw a a brand new glimpse of it in full as part of Daco's charity stream not too long ago. Also in that charity stream, we got a good look at Glamrock Chica in her ruined state. We got two looks at Monty Gator in his ruined state as well inside of Gator Golf. We have seen the Eclipse character. That's the fan name for it right now. We saw them in the gameplay trailer. We do know that Kellen Goff, the voice actor for the character, is returning for this DLC, and it seems likely that all of the other voice actors and actors will also be returning and reprising their roles. We also get another look at ruined Roxanne Wolf <laughs> in quite a menacing pose. A lot of these guys are in really menacing pose, right? Monty, like, clawing your way towards the camera. Chica lurking in the back. Moon in the back as well. Roxanne with her claws in the moonlight. Once again, as the teaser implies, this is a free DLC, and this is not the only news we got for Ruin today. Stuhl also released a blog post over on their website, which we can go read right now. We got Five Nights at Freddy's Ruin, free security breach DLC coming July 25th. This was posted today, July 14th, 2023. It starts off with, hey folks, the time has come. Ruin will be available on the PlayStation 4, the PlayStation 5, and PC on Tuesday, July 25th at 12 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Ruin is a new story that follows a little girl named Cassie as she searches the crumbling pizza plex for her friend Gregory. So that does confirm that Cassie, the new girl we're going to be playing as, uh, as the protagonist in the Ruin DLC, is friends with Gregory. A lot of people were thinking maybe they were siblings, sister, you know, dynamic going on there. Nope. Turns out they're just friends. Since you've all been so patient and we've got a couple weeks left, I want to give you all a sneak peek of what you can expect from this free DLC. First, its tone is a stark contrast to that of Security Breach. Our goal was to lean into a more familiar feel Freddy's fans have come to expect. That is very exciting. And in that effort, we've created DLC that's far more dark, dreadful, and ominous than the base game. A lot of people were complaining, Steel Wool, you made Security Breach way too bright and colorful. The animatronics look way too friendly. The comedy's too funny. And Steel Wool did do an interview on Game Jill, uh not too long after the DLC was announced, and they talked about how they were taking inspiration from the Endo section and the the um, the daycare segment when the lights are off with the moon, right? And how they wanted to expand more upon that feel of dread and ominousness. So very very exciting news to hear that Ruin will be more. More dreadful, more scary, dark, and creepy. Additionally, given the dilapidated state of the Pizzaplex, it's claustrophobic and littered with the ambience that naturally and unnaturally comes from an abandoned building. So possibly a lot of liminal spaces, right, where things, you know, areas that are usually typically busy, bright, colorful, full of life, or dark and dingy and mysterious. There aren't a bunch massive well-lit areas where you can see and avoid a threat in the distance. So once again, dark, probably a whole lot of fog that we can't see through. That is going to be so, so creepy. In addition to the tonal shift, we've also moved away from the hide-and-seek gameplay of the base game. Another major complaint people had, I feel like I was the only person who really used the cameras to see, alright, when's this animatronic moving away? When can I go hiding inside of containers and lockers and trash bins and baby strollers. Ruin's moment to moment is built around patience and timing. And after thinking long on what we want to share before launch, I'm actually going to leave it at that. Our trailer only showed off a small fraction of the fun and wards won't do the rest justice. As I previously said, 
The DLC is going to launch on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and PC. The Xbox and Switch versions of the DLC will be released at a later date. It was more important to us that we focus on a few specific platforms to give ourselves the time and space to work on what matters most, the game itself. Completely fair, seems like it's going to be launching on the same platforms that the main game did anyway, PlayStation, PC. Uh, though it doesn't seem like it's going to be a PlayStation exclusive, just based on the wording. I know that main game security breach was, and it took, I know they had like a three month um, time period where it couldn't release on Xbox and Switch and other platforms. And eventually, long after that, you know, time frame, it did end up releasing on Switch and Xbox. Uh, so hopefully those can, those ports can arrive a bit faster this time, um, just because I know there is a lot of you guys on Xbox. There's a few of you guys even on Switch. So unfortunately, you won't be getting the DLC on the launch day, but hopefully Steelwall is going to be cooking those up very, very soon. I cannot overstate how much the team here appreciates the patience you've shown us. That's a bit funny. <laughs> Don't look at your Twitter replies. As we've built a game that's nearly 100% new content. Really? I, I feel like they're reusing most of the pizza plaques. I'm sure they've built a whole lot of new content. I'm just... I'm a little taken aback by that. Did you rebuild the pizza plex? I guess that'll just go to show how much of a ruined state the building will be in that practically everything we knew from the pizza plex beforehand has completely shifted, has completely changed. I've said it before and I'll repeat it forever. Without all of you, we can't do what we love. So from the bottom of our hearts, thank you for helping us make our games what they are today. This is a massive year for FNAF. So expect to hear more from us in the near future about our upcoming plans. Thanks, Ray McCaffrey, my boy Ray, executive producer, Five Nights at Freddy's. So that is the newsletter that Steerwool put out in preparation for the release of Ruin. I'm so glad they didn't shadow drop it. A lot of people are thinking it's getting late into the month. They might just drop it without a, an announcement. I'm so glad they didn't do that. It's like I said, we got like a week and a half until release. I've still got to get a predictions video out. So I'm very thankful to know I still have time to do that because I'll be honest, the silence this month was really, you know, making me unmotivated to make videos. That's why there's been like one video this month. But now that Ruins got a release date, I'm very much looking forward to making content again. So once again, as a quick final reminder, this is the brand new teaser for Security Breach Ruin, a free DLC releasing on July 25th, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and PC Tuesday at 12 a.m. PST, uh, which is like 3 a.m. my time. So that's going to be a fun night of recording. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching this video. I'd love to know what are your theories and thoughts on Ruin in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.